Hey everyone, today's video is about when a girl pushes you down the stairs and she pretends she doesn't, or basically, when Baku asks you who pushed you, she lies and tells him that it wasn't her and he believes her. I think that's a very long title, but basically it summarizes the story, so. Anyways, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. You and Bakugo have been together for over a year now. Your relationship, a powerful blend of passion and mutual understanding. Tonight, you both attend the Hero Gala, a high-profile event that was filled with glittering, lights, and glamorous faces. It's not Bakugo's favorite way to spend an evening, but he agreed to go just because you wanted to. You're mingling with other heroes, Bakugo never straying too far from your side. His protective nature makes you feel safe, and you truly enjoy seeing the softer side of him that he reserves just for you. And as the night progresses, you find yourself alone, heading upstairs as you want to get some fresh air on the balcony. As you reach the top of the stairs, you hear a familiar, disdainful voice behind you. You're really not cut out for this, are you? You turn to see Hana, a fellow hero who has never hidden her disdain for you. You take a deep breath, trying to stay calm. I'm here just to enjoy the evening. She steps closer, her eyes narrowing. You're nothing special. I just want you to know that. I truly don't understand what Bakugo sees in you. And before you can respond, she shoves you hard and you lose your balance and tumble down the stairs. The world spinning around you, pain radiates through your body. And as you hit the bottom, hey, you hear Bakugo's furious shout as he rushes to your side. Are you okay? You once, trying to set up. Katsuki, um, I, I think so. You manage, your voice shaky. His expression darkens as he helps you up to your feet. Who did this? He demands, his voice a dangerous growl. He points up the stairs to where Hana stands, feigning innocence. It was her. Hana pushed me. Makako's eyes snap to her, and he strides up the stairs, his fist clenched. Did you push her? Hana shakes her head, her face a mask of sincerity. No, I didn't. She must have tripped. I would never do something like that. I'm a hero for God's sake. Bakugo hesitates, his anger faltering as he looks between you and then Hantana. How would she lie then? He mutters, his tone less certain. You feel a pang of hurt. Katsuki, I truly know what happened. She truly is lying, I know it. She pushed me. Hana steps forward. I... Katsuki, please. You have to believe me. I would never hurt anyone. Bakugo looks torn. His anger diffusing into confusion. I... I don't know. He admits, looking back down at you. Are you sure? The disbelief in his voice thinks more than the fall. Yes, I am sure. You insist feeling tears prick at the corners of your eyes. He runs a hand through his hair, clearly frustrated. I just don't want to think the worst of someone. Without clear proof. Katsuki, me saying that should be clear proof. I told you. Why the hell would I lie to you? Katsuki, she pushed me. I truly wouldn't lie about something like that, okay? And Hana played her part very well looking heartbroken and distraught. I'm sorry this happened, I didn't want you to fall, but I truly didn't do it. Bakugo exhales sharply. I don't know what to believe right now. Let's just go home. You nod, feeling defeated. The ride back home was silent and tense. The earlier camaraderie between you, now a very distant memory. When you both arrive, you head straight for the bathroom to clean up, trying to hold back your tears. 
Bakugo follows you. His expression conflicted. Look, I'm sorry. I just didn't know what to think. You turned to face him, your voice trembling. Katsuki, I need you to trust me. If you don't, this won't work. He steps closer, his eyes filled with regret. I do trust you. I just don't want to believe someone could do that to you. You sigh, leaning against the sink. But then someone did. And I need you to stand by me, even when it's hard. His shoulders slump as he takes your hands in his. You're right. I'm sorry. I should have believed you. And I will from now on. He searched his eyes, seeing the sincerity there. I needed to mean it, Katsuki. I can't go through this alone, alright? I do mean it. He says firmly. I'm sorry I doubted you at first. And I won't make that mistake again, I promise. You nod feeling a glimmer of hope. Okay, I'll put this behind me, for now. He pulls into a tight embrace, his strong arms reassuring you. I love you. He whispers into your hair, and I'm here for you. I love you too. He whisper, clinging to him. Just promise me you'll always be mine on my side. I promise. He says, his voice steady and unwavering, and as you hold each other, you feel the bond between you strengthen, and you know that whenever something happens, you will overcome anything, no matter what. The days followed. The gala were a whirlwind of emotions and events, despite the tension that lingers. Bakugo makes every effort to actually show you that he meant his apology. He makes sure to become more attentive and more productive, making sure that you know just how much he values and believes you now. One evening, as you're both spending down from another exhausting day, Bakugo pulls you aside, his expression serious. I've been thinking about what happened a few days ago, and I realized something. What is it? His grip on your hand tightens. I truly should have believed you right away. I let my doubts get in the way and I won't let that happen again. I promise you. I trust you more than anyone else. Your heart swells at his words. This is exactly what you wanted to hear. Thank you, Katsuki. That means a lot to me. And in that quiet moment, when the world fades away, you find solace in Baku's arms. And as you move forward, you do so with the knowledge that no matter what life throws your way, you will always have each other's backs, standing side by side against the world. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!